So how you doing? We got the glass pair in. Um, at Elevate Premier Studios. How you doing? Yeah, not bad. Good, good. Um, we got a couple questions here just to show everybody who you are and how you run. We got a pretty cool cat in. Uh, how did you get your glass blower in? Uh, that one actually just kind of stems from the fact that I've been a Jimmy Buffett fan for a long time and was just trying to look for something that I could use not only kind of towards the head shop industry, but be able to, you know, not be like, oh, look, I'm pipes and stuff or da 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 da, da you know, yeah. just not a open advertisement of it. Cool. When did you start working with glass? Back in 2002. I mean, technically earlier, I, I used to sell glass jewelry with hemp, you know, brighten up hemp to just make extra money. But right. uh, I started working with glass itself in 2002 uh, up in uh, Denver at uh, Agnes of Glass, just doing a fun little Italian crystal uh, uh, lessons and stuff. Where are you blowing glass now? Elevate. <laughs> Great studio. Who do you look up to in the glass game? Um, I mean, it's really hard to say. I look up to a to a lot of people in the industry. I mean, it comes to sculpture work. You know, I have, of course, Joe Peters and stuff like that. Uh, drawn and drawn and flip this. I mean, Shia Windstar. Uh, you know, I mean, it just really kind of depends on. Uh, which uh, which part uh, which style I'm looking at honestly what's your favorite technique fume fume <laughs> hands down fume any type of fume uh, fume work fume te uh, inside out it doesn't matter I just I love fume more than pretty much any color <laughs> what inspired your style um Honestly, uh, like the only real thing I'll call a style is my fume weave, and I just wanted to do something different and, and kind of prove that fume could be heady work as well. <laughs> what do you see in your future being in, in this industry? I have no idea. <laughs> Oh, I mean, I predicted, you know, having a huge studio and, you know, doing every form of glass that I know how to do because I do a lot more than just Boro. And, you know, here I am 18 years later and, um, yeah, no, nope, still just kind of putzing along with Boro and not really, you know, creating the giant studio that I wanted. So I kind of got done predicting it. It's been such an unpredictable industry. What is your hobbies outside class? I have video games and my animals. That's about it. What's your favorite video game? I don't really have a favorite <laughs> video game. I, uh, I'm an all around collector. I mean, I've got 35 years worth of systems. So, you know, you That's name awesome. it from 85 to current day, I have that system, except for the next gen, right. uh, newest next gens, because I'm not paying that high price. <laughs> Two last important questions. Do you believe in aliens? And if so, what do you think the alien would do for a client? Like why? One, I do believe in aliens. And two, not a goddamn thing, because they're probably looking at us like we're the stupidest fucking things <laughs> in the universe at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> what color would you like to see added in the Boro palette? Hmm. Honestly, I just want to see uh, kind of a drift away from the see-through colors and back to more opaques. Right. Lots of different opaque colors. Somebody figure out a good stable pastel, like an easy-to-work pastel palette would be nice. You know. I agree. Or maybe if somebody can actually figure out true neon colors. Right. <laughs> All right, that's the glass pair. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for... Interviewing? <laughs>